day tripping. You've spent all that time working out and getting into shape. You must be exhausted. It's the perfect time for a vacation. There are vacation options for any style and to suit any pocketbook. Give me a five-star hotel in a fancy resort, but my buddy prefers a small tent and a backpack full of camping gear. Ew, bugs. Let's take a look at some of the choices. Maybe you're on a tight budget. Maybe you spent too much for that gym membership. Or you may have a crazy schedule at work and you can't take too many days off, but you'd still like some R&R. There's a perfect solution and even a word to describe it. Staycation. Instead of going away, you stay right at home and do fun vacation things nearby. These day trips can be as much fun as a fancy vacation. Consider a trip to the art museum or attend a concert. Pack up the kids, pack the car, and head to the beach for a day of sun, sand, and surf. Places like New York City have ferries you can ride for free. These boats will make you feel like you're on a fancy cruise. Well, a fancy cruise without waiters and fancy meals. In New York City, the ferry to Staten Island gives you a spectacular view of the Statue of Liberty, and it's free. Feeling seasick? Go to a nearby park where you can enjoy a nature hike through the woods. Watch out for the skunks. Many local parks have wilderness trails with signs that identify trees, plants, and animals you may see along your walk. For a day that's a bit more expensive, you might try a kid-friendly place like the zoo, an amusement park, or a water park. Don't forget the sunscreen. You have a little sunburn, Leah. I think you enjoyed your vacation a little too much. Actually, we just stayed home. We took day trips and we discovered places we didn't even know about right in the neighborhood. We even visited the zoo. It was great fun. Wow, what a great idea. I finished painting the house. It was not great fun. I printed out some new recipes and cooked some interesting ethnic meals, too. After we cleaned up, we walked around the neighborhood and chatted with the neighbors... And one day, we traveled to the beach and practiced our beach volleyball skills. I think that's my new favorite sport. The whole week really was a fun staycation. Pronunciation pointer. Remember that the ED ending of the simple past tense can be pronounced three different ways. After a voiced sound, you can feel the vibration of your vocal cords. Or verbs ending in a vowel, it's pronounced d, like dog. Examples. Called equals called. Involved equals involved. After a voiceless sound, no vibration, it's pronounced t, like top. Examples. Picked equals picked. Stepped equals stepped. After a verb ending with the letter D or T, we hear the syllable UD. Examples. Granted equals granted. Started equals started. Needed equals needed.